In order to test a chi-square hypothesis, you need two pieces of information. You need your degrees of freedom, and we also need a chi-square statistic. If you haven't been given the chi-square statistic in the question, or you don't know what it is, then check out the first part of this video, which is how to calculate a chi-square statistic. For this example, I'm using the statistic of 5.094 and 11 degrees of freedom. Now, how you get degrees of freedom is pretty easy. You just take the number of categories and subtract one. In the previous video, we were working with zodiac signs, so there were 12 categories. You subtract one, that gives you 11 degrees of freedom. We're going to take that chi-square statistic, and we want to look in the chi-square table. Here's the chi-square table. If I look at 11 degrees of freedom, I will see that 5.094 is going to fall somewhere in the middle of 0.9 and 0.95. So using a table, I can make a guesstimate that the right tau, that is the right tau area, will be around the middle, which would be about 0.925. You can use technology to figure out the exact p-value for chi-squared. You can use a TI-83 or 89, or you can use an online chi-square calculator like this one. I'm going to type my degrees of freedom. We had 11. The test statistic was 5.094. Click Compute, and here's the area of the right-hand tail, 0.9265. That was pretty close to the guesstimate we got from the table. And we'll use our p-value to decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis for the chi-square assumes there is no significant difference between observed and expected values. A small p-value would mean you reject the null hypothesis, but this p-value is huge. That's a 92.65% probability your null hypothesis is correct and you should not reject it. That's how to test a chi-square statistic. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you in the next video.